wealth within. They gave me that feeling of trust. What you learned in the course was just mind-blowing. Amazing. It was phenomenal. It opens your mind up and makes you realise you don't know what you don't know. I've got the tools now. 100% worth it. Definitely get educated. Hello and welcome to Wealth Within's weekly hot stock tips. I'm Philip Tortevsky, Senior Analyst at Wealth Within, and we're Australia's most trusted stock market educators. Now every Tuesday night, you can see me on the Australian Stock Market Show live on YouTube, alongside two amazing professional traders, Janine Cox and Dale Gillam. Now in the show, we answer important questions around the stock market, cover lots of great stocks, and help you become a better trader. But before we dive into this week's stocks, I am joined today by Dale Gillam. Good morning, Dale. Hey, how you doing? Great. A uh, bit of an owl biter for both of us this weekend. I know. I don't have any fingernails left. Look at that. No, no I'm fine. I'm not doing that. The, but the market. Market's a nail high. biter too at the moment. Isn't it? It's zoomed up earlier in the week, very, very strong, and um, then tanked on Friday. So mm. that would scare a lot of people. Mm. I think, you know, and we're seeing, I'm hearing a lot of news, seeing, you know, some of the YouTube videos saying the US stock market's going to crash. And you hear all that sort of stuff, and that means just buy. <laughs> to me, that means the market's not going to crash. Because I know in 2022, all year they kept saying the US market was going to crash. And I was having people telling me I was crazy, saying the market's not going to crash, the market's not going to crash. I had people betting against me on YouTube and everything, saying, oh, the market's going to crash. Why are these people saying it's going to do it? Like, that's not going to do it. And it didn't. Mm. Um, and so don't listen to these supposed experts on YouTube and the chat forums. The stock market's not going to crash. The US market's not going to crash. It's going to be bullish. Yeah, and and so it's, ours. it's funny when you see that because these big one-day falls, they hit the news headlines and everyone, they you do. know, you, you start that. Maybe family friends would ring up and say, what's happening to the market? Is it going to crash? And I said, one day. I had a call like that just, on Friday or Saturday. Somebody's ringing up saying, is the stock market going to crash? I go, what are you talking about? And they go, is the stock market going to crash? I go, what? what? Yeah. Is the stock market going to crash? I go, where did you get this stuff from? Yeah. No, it's not. It's never crashed in one day and it, it, it no, never will. Never so, will. Um, all right, let's get straight into it now. On your screen right now is a watch list of the top 200 ASX stocks. Now, this looks good, doesn't it? Doesn't it, Dale? That uh, looks amazing. In that. And the thing is, is you're looking at some of this, you know, 9.8% for Star Entertainment, Credit Corp 7, Technology 1 up 7, Sparks up 7, Pinnacles, Pinnacles flying up 7, Newmont up over 7. So, that was exciting to see that. Um, but what we um, obviously these are in the leading sector, but we want to look at something in, in that lagging sector mm. that's heading northeast. That's what we actually want to do. So if I hit on this and filter them in terms of the direction, you know, here's all the northeast ones. So we want something not necessarily improving. They might give us a secondary buy, but we want something in that lagging sector um, through here. So here we've got Karoon Energy. We've also got James Hardy in that sector. We've also got Dexas in that sector, mm. to Grey Mining in that sector, corporate travel in that sector. They're the ones we want to actually look. Uh, and there's Credit Corp sitting there. So these are the ones I really want to look at because they're generally the ones that are going to give you a buy in the next two to three months max. Yep. Um, and so these ones go onto your watch list. And this is a really critical part. I know there's a lot. I was only speaking to a trader the other day. Um, and he's like, he's done, he did 300 trades last year. And I went, what? He's had more trades than I have dinners. <laughs> well, and that's I, almost a trade a day. Well, correct. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like what I'm saying. He normally had more trades than I had dinners, pretty yeah. much. And I went, that's way too many. That's like about 90% too many. If you did 30 trades last year, that's enough. You can make a lot of money in that. And what I find is a lot of traders, and this is my trading tip, if you like, of the week, is trade less, make more. Don't trade more. And this is what a lot of mistake a lot of traders make is they think by trading more, they'll make more money. But all they're trying to do is scalp little profits and they're spending a lot of money on a broker. I was, just about, to to I was just about to say that. It is, I would love to see the uh, commission or the, the amount of cost that that, that trader's paying. Those oh, yes. Yeah, he would be paying so much of his profits in, in uh, commissions, in fees, and if you, you know, mm. just zoomed out a little and maybe half of those, maybe a tenth of those positions, let them run for a little bit longer because the volatility in markets and in stocks, it takes time to unfold. It does. A, a, a volatility of a day or an hour or two hours is nothing like a real trend, which takes about a, a week or a month to unfold. And if you're talking about mm. markets that, you know, take five, five, um, five or 10 percent volatility may take a month or two. And, you know, you're trying to trade that you've got to let these things run. Yeah. 
And but they're too scared because they don't have proper rules and tools. And I know I've helped so many traders over the last 30 years who are trading like this and they're trading daily mm. and a lot the times during the day. Because remember, the market's only open five days a week, not 365 days a week. So mm. he's having more than one trade every single yeah. day on the market. And to me, it, what we do with them is we say to them, use better rules and tools so that you know when it's going to be going up, when it's going to be going down, when to get in, when to get out. And you have a lot less trades and you make far more money. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to trade more and give brokers more money. I want to trade less and make a lot more money. So that's my trading tip for the day because that's one of the biggest sins that we see in the market. And I've been seeing for 30 years is over trading. Um, so stop over trading and, and learn how to do it properly. So that's my tip for the day. Couldn't agree more. All right. So what's hot in the market this week? Well, on your screen right now is my hot stock tip for the week, which is Orica Limited stock ticker code ORI. Now, Dale, this one is oh my God, that looks great, very, it? very interesting. And I'll bring up the monthly chart just to start us off here. And I mean, no doubt you're looking at this rectangle box here and why I've highlighted it is because it is so, so significant for this stock. When you see stocks come back and test a particular price level, I mean, it screams, you know, watch me um, for one and you know, recently what it's been doing the same thing, this stock. It's coming out of that 14... It's nearly what, 20 years since it's all-time high. Isn't it? It's like ridiculous. I mean, just one, one strategy alone would have been, once you found out after 09 that this was a significant level, you just keep buying these these lows and, yeah. and you would be making money. But more importantly, right now, with the way it's setting up, because, you know, it's important to see how these stocks come out of these mm -hmm. levels. We, we often say when a stock hits support, it's one thing for it to hit support, but what does it do after that? How does price unfold? And you can see that when you start to see this real erratic or sharp um, movement out of these support levels, quite often it'll come back to test it. It's when you see the, I guess, accumulation in price at a particular level is where it gets exciting because there's you know, big money at play trying to accumulate the stock. And we're kind of seeing that around this level through here. You can see that it's not volatile, sharp moves out. It's settled its way through. It's bounced a few times. It's giving us that sideways type accumulative, accumulative move. And recently we've broken out. And what's really interesting is obviously, you know, our market, uh, June, July, um, obviously June was a, a good month on our market. Yeah. But um, prior to that, it'd been settling down, falling away. Now, if you look at this stock, Given that move up, it's only fallen about a third of the way down and holding above these levels. So to me, I think if we can start to get moving here, we have got some really nice upside for this stock. And I've marked this, I guess, momentum line, which would be the first level where you would think maybe there would be some kind of, I guess, resistance. But given the way it's unfolding out of this major low, I think if it can start moving up from here and then watch it through here, but if it can get through this level, then I think we're probably set up for a major long-term move up. Well, I mean, there's 20% to that line, isn't mm. it, up to that line? And I do agree with you. And it's interesting, uh, you know, if you look at this, and I 100% agree with you, because it's interesting, I got a comment on our YouTube channel and somebody says, well, why is it important looking at what a stock did 20 years ago? And I went, basically, my answer was, it's very important, because mm. what was will be. Yes. And then I got this sarcastic comment back, which just shows you the ignorance of a lot of people. They want to look at daily charts and they want to look at happening, but... Stocks and markets are like us. We will go on the same patterns the whole time, running at the same speed. It's like when you're walking with your partner. You know the speed that they walk on. Occasionally they'll walk faster or slower, but Depending that's their, their speed. <laughs> and same with stocks. And, and obviously the same we're seeing with these stocks. We go and have a look at the chart. But, but can it, I just yeah. say, well, you know, that, that exactly what you've just said, if, if this particular person now, you know, just for the point of conversation, if you're not looking at a chart like this, if you're not looking at a monthly chart, how are you to know you don't. That, that $14 is such an important level? You don't. You have no idea. And that's the point. And that's what I talked about last week is a lot of traders don't understand direction. They think they do or they have intellectually think they know understand it, but they really don't understand it because there's a difference between knowledge and understanding. Mm. Knowledge is understand, knowing that a tomato is a fruit, not a vegetable, but wisdom is knowing that you don't put it in a fruit salad. Mm. And most people don't know how to make a fruit salad because they get these tools or they get these little things that they see in a YouTube video or a, you know some idiot on a chat forum and tell them about something. Mm. And I don't know any professional traders, that, and I'm talking about not talking industry ones, I'm talking about people like you and me, yep. professional traders who make money out of the market for ourselves, I don't see them on, they're not on chat forums. I've met wow. hundreds of them and they all go, I wouldn't waste my time. Mm. 
So what, who are you taking your advice from? And you need to understand the charts, but I love this stock at the moment. It's looking really good. I'm glad you picked it. All right, beautiful. Well, that is it for my hot stock tip this week. Now, we're moving on to a stock that should make you proceed with caution. Nickel Industries Limited stock ticker code NIC. Now, this one, Dale, is very, very interesting in that space. Mm. Um, one of those uh, commodities that, you know, along with lithium has been so spoken important. about. Yes, well, that too, very, very important, but spoken about so much about mm. when is this thing going to move and when it does, it's gonna be obviously explosive. But if we just go back to the chart mm. and have a look for you, and begin on the monthly chart with this one. But it has already been explosive out of in 2020. Hasn't well. it? And look at it, it's gone from 50 cents to a dollar and nearly a dollar 10. Hasn't it? That's explosive yes. moves, but that's when you're gonna see here. And, and if we go and have a look, this is probably where a lot of the retail buyers came into it because mm -hmm. it already made its move. And then the people that got in through here, they're selling out and this is what you're saying, but um, I understand why you've got it as a caution. Yes. But that also makes me excited. Yes, and it's definitely one of those exciting cautions because I mean, just look at this level through here. And again, this is why we uh, speak so much about how important a price chart is. If you're not looking at one, there is no way you will know why this is an important level and why there's been mm. buying at these levels. and you know, giving you, showing you that there is an opportunity to get in. But basically what I'm referring to is this significant low back in October, 2022, the market came to test it. But if you zoom into these bars, not one month that it's tested through, it's managed to close uh, below Didn't that. Didn't even level. open below it. Correct. So that to me, if you can understand and read price action screams saying, hey, guess what? There's, there is buying it's, here. It's so start thing. watching me. And you know, obviously what's happened is a really nice run out from those levels. And it is natural now that we are seeing a pullback because as you said, there would be buyers, strong buyers in here taking some profit through. But again, we're talking about trading on that confirmation. And what we like to see with that is, you know, price starting to, now we're giving that first mm -hmm. example. We've seen what the buyers are doing. We're asking the question of the sellers. So far, they're only about to exert half of their energy. Well, it's only one week into the August. So it is, yes. You know, I'd like to see if this closes up, higher than it opened. So that's its open. If it closed up somewhere around here, I'd love this stock. Exactly. Really would. But if you get a longer bar and it comes down below here and starts testing it, I'd still love it if I find some support here and turns around again, because that's that's a pretty good move from that sort of around, you know, whatever that is, 60, 70 cents all the way back up to a, a dollar. That's not a bad little move if you can get it. But oh, yeah. I mean, obviously this is a pretty important little um, level here because you can see it goes right across through to there. So mm -hmm. I love it. I think what you've done is great. All right. Um, stick it on your watch list. Stick it on your watch list. Excellent. All right. Now, lastly, what's not hot in the stock market this week? Iluka Resources, stock ticker code ILU. Now, Dale, this one is very interesting, but I mean- So it, disappointing. Yes, it is. And, and if we just zoom in on the monthly for now, you know, there was potential that it was going to find support through here and- you know, the stock closed below this previous low. So now the question is, where to from here? And that is the reason why it is not hot, but at some point this stock may become hot again. And, mm -hmm. you know, looking at it right now, this is a important level it's a typical of- typical resources stock. Though. Yeah, it's an important level of support, this $5.78.79. I mean, it's no mm -hmm. surprise these um, resources, they've been falling away, but um, right now, what's not healthy and why I wanted to raise this point is because some people might be looking at this and thinking, okay, there is a level through here, it's time to get in. Mm -hmm. But if we just zoom back through this previous period, you can see that the lows of November and what are we here, July, which is around $7.80, was looking like support. And if you were trading this back in September, 2023, you might've thought, hey, you know what, it's hit mm -hmm. support twice, I'm gonna get in. Obviously, it's fallen, it's head back through. And then you're thinking, okay, now it's starting to claw back up. If it gets through these levels, I'm going to get back in. But what happened? The stock found resistance on that level and it has fallen away. Now, the reason I say that is because you need to be careful that this stock, now that it is in a confirmed long-term uptrend, any moves through here, even up back to that $7.80, may only be short-term moves and short-lived. Mm. So it's two things you have to consider. One is how are you gonna trade this stock if you are looking to trade it, which, you know, looking at it right now, it's not a long-term play given the way it's falling. You're gonna to need to see a lot more confirmation. And two, be very, very careful on the way back up how much it does have in it. Um, that's the, the trick, the trickiness 
with stocks that are uh, moving like this. This is a good shorting stock at the moment because mm. it's likely to go back down into those sorts of levels down then down in there because as you can see, it's a very cyclical stock. Mm. Um, you know, and over the last sort of you know ten years or more, it's spent probably sixty percent of its time between those two black lines. So to me. I'd be shorting it right now and then waiting for it to find some support and then trade it um, with some really, really good rules because you'll make a shed load of money out of it. Well, there you have it, guys. All right. Well, thank you for watching this edition of Wealth Within's Weekly Hot Stock Tips. Remember to tune in tonight to the live Australian stock market show on YouTube from 7 p.m. Eastern time. Now, remember to have your phone ready to call in live to speak to us so we can answer your questions. The number is 03 9290 or you can email into the show right now by sending your questions to info at wealthwithin.com.au. Now, if you want a copy of Dale's first book, you can still get it for free. You just have to pay the shipping. You can order it from our homepage, wealthwithin.com.au. Now, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and thank you, Dale, for your excellent comments today. Oh, my pleasure, Phil. I'm well done for those stocks. I really I think they are great stocks. And I look forward to chatting with everybody later on in the Australian Stock Market Show live on YouTube. Just type Wealth Within Live into the YouTube search and you'll find us. Exactly. All right. Thank you again, Dale. And thank you, everyone, for watching. For now, goodbye, good luck, and good trading.